Hey guys! So this is my video on hats and bows. So I don't know how many of you guys know, but before I started collecting pins, every time I would go to Disney, I would get a hat. And this is actually, you'd think this would be the oldest one I had because it's the most classic, but it is not. In fact, the oldest one that I have currently here in front of me is this one. It's a little Pirates of the Caribbean with the dangly headscarf, a little ear charm. I liked pink at the time, and I love Pirates of the Caribbean, so I got this one. Um, I also have these fabulous, goofy, springy ones. A lot of these are still available at the Disney parks. I don't know which ones are, which ones are not. These are all purchased within the last 10 years. I had some ones from when I was little. I don't know where they are. One of which was a mini um, Santa hat with a big giant bow. But that's actually, I know where that one is, but it's put away in the Christmas stuff in the garage. So that won't be making appearance until Christmas time. So yeah, there's this goofy one. I have a picture of um, Gary with this on. It's actually really cute. Next, I have this goofy one. It's actually quite classic. My mom used to have one when I was growing up. I don't know where hers went to, but I remember seeing this when I was little and always thinking. It also reminds me of Jeannie from Aladdin, the very last scene. Um, he throws this hat on as he's like traveling away once Aladdin frees him. Um, I'll put a picture, screenshot of that there. Um, so yeah, I think this one's like just iconically Disney. She also used to have these great big goofy slippers. I wish she still had them because they're hysterical. It was just a great big goofy head that you'd stick your foot into. It's kind of morbid now that I think about it. They were really fun. I remember putting them on when I was little. Um, I have this Dumbo ear hat. I thought it was cute just because of the ruffles. Um, I also have a picture of Gary wearing this hat. I like to put my dog in funny ear hats, so I'll put that picture in here too. Next, I have this Disney princess one with this fabulous little, I guess it's almost like a veil. I mean, it is a veil, but you know, it's, it's sparkly, it's pretty. Um, no, Disney princess one. I think it's meant for little kids because it's much, much smaller than the other ones I have, but I like it anyway. This is Disney princess up at the top. My next one, is this lovely little pink thing. Just ear hat, um, butterfly bow. I used to be much, much girlier than I am now. I was really tomboy as little, then I got really girly in high school. Like I wore skirts all the time. Um, and then I, like just not like floor length skirts, like knee length skirts. But yeah, I got really girly. And now I would never pick this up for myself. Um, Peter Pan. I just like it because of the feather. <laughs> and it's not, um, it's really kind of not convenient to wear. Because all the other ones, they kind of stay on your head with the uh, elastic. It does not have elastic at all. You just go, Phew. don't wear this one on rides. They will get lost. Next, I have this one. Again, princess theme. This one I had. I wore for my 18th birthday when I went with a group of friends of mine from high school. And there's actually the front of it. Um, you can see because the checkered purple thing. Again, with the little veil sort of thing. It's cute. I liked it. Then I also have these Goofy ones. Pirate headband thing. I got these at my first time to Disneyland with my boyfriend. So, and he got a Mickey one. It was really cute. We both had matching ones. Well, he had Mickey, I had Goofy. And we got a picture taken by the, the photo pass people and they put it up. Um, I don't know if they still do this now, but there was a while there a couple years ago that they put the pictures of the day up on um, Small World. 
showing all the people that had been there. So we were up there. I thought it was cute because we were both, you know, in our in our ear hats, piratey ear hats. And then last but not least that I have here with me, I have these giraffe ears. I know for a fact these are still in the Disney parks because I saw them there last week. But they're just so cute. And I love giraffes. That's that's the other thing I forgot to mention in my intro video was that I love giraffes. Because as a little girl, I used to feel like a giraffe because I was so much taller than all the other girls that I felt just long and lanky and awkward. And so giraffes are like my spirit safari animal. <laughs> so when I saw these, I just had to get them. I believe I also got these, the first date Disney thing. So these are kind of special. Um, next, what I'm into more now, like, uh, well, obviously, I mean, I could wear these out and about, but I'm not about to, because while I love Disney so, so much, I don't want to be looked at as that kind of Disney person that wears Disney outside of the parks, at least with the ear hats. I do wear Disney outside of the parks. In fact, the shirt I have on now is this wonderful, I don't know if you can really tell, it's hard to reposition the camera and all that, but it's this um, Disney characters, poofy things, Star Wars. But that leads me into my next thing. I know some people have mixed feelings on this, but Disney is still getting the, the property rights. I mean, they've given the property rights to this company, this company called Hot Topic and they have a bunch of different Disney, Star Wars, Marvel now, um, paraphernalia that you can buy there without paying the Disney price for it. So for me that's, you know, big, <laughs> big plus. So I can get my Disney merch without paying the Disney price. One of them is this shirt. I have a bunch of other shirts but what I will go into now is my bows and I have quite a few of them and they all have matching shirts and or tank tops that I wear with them when I go to the parks as well as to the grocery store and in school and anywhere else I feel like swinging a little Disney into my day. So I'll start with those. Um, first, I'll kind of do these because they're, they're very similar. I have the Woody and Buzz bows. Um, I'm trying to recall what Oh, I have a To Infinity and Beyond shirt that I would wear with this one. This one I would just wear something plaid or blue jean. Be cute. Or my white shirt. Just something simple. Um, Alice bow. I love Alice in Wonderland. Favorite Disney movie is, and favorite Disney character is Alice, so I wear this one a lot. Um, more to Disney parks. I also, let me say something real quick. I don't like the bows that have the picture of the actual character on the inside of it. I like it kind of alluding to the character instead of, this is Alice, which is why I don't have the Beauty and the Beast bow, because there's a picture of Belle in it. And even when I was little, when like Disney would sell, you would get around Halloween time, the Disney ca catalog for all the different Halloween costumes, I was very particular because I never wanted the costumes that had the little kind of cameo of the character on on itself. I wanted to be that character. I didn't want someone to be, oh, you're being Belle. It's like, no, you are Belle. Funny little thing about me. So there's that. Um, I also have a scrump bow. So cute. I just love the little um, little hair pieces from scrump that I just broke off of. That's so sad. Um, it's okay. It's just felt. If I needed to, I could make more little hair pieces for it. That's so sad. Um, next I have my Peter Pan bow. And I also love it just because of the feather, which is so cute. Put the feather on it. Um, next I have my grape soda up bow, which is really unfortunate because I do not have the shirt any longer. The shirt was ruined. Well, on a trip to Disneyland, I um, had gotten off of Splash Mountain, realized I had rubbed my back 
at some point, I guess leaning up against a wall or something, but the wet from the shirt mixed with the wall or whatever I leaned up against to had stained the entire back and I washed the shirt several times. Could not get that stain out, so I'm just gonna have to go and get another shirt now. I also have my R2D2 bow, which is my favorite non-originally Disney franchise franchise. So most people know but Disney did not create Star Wars. Disney bought the right to Star Wars and then acquired Lucasfilms. Um, same sort of thing is how they got Indiana Jones into the park before they acquired um, Lucasfilms, again, themselves. Same thing they now have done with Marvel. So the reason you see Thor and Spider-Man and Captain America and all those other kinds of guys um, now at Disney when you wouldn't have seen them two years ago, one year ago, maybe even. Let's double check on that fact, but. Favorite, not originally Disney franchise. Last but not least, I have my newest bow, which is something very special because it's what I'm wearing for my costume for Dapper Day, which I will go into in another video, as well as Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. And it is my Haunted Mansion bow. Um, I acquired this off of Etsy. I did not make this myself. I just love it so much. You can see right there. You can also see the um, tightrope walker in there. I just think it's absolutely awesome. Um, and it also has the wallpaper that's in the ride as you're walking into the the hallways and things of that nature when you're on the ride as well you see this this wallpaper and I, I just love how it's like lace but then it's also evil and demonish with the eyes and everything like that um so I'm going as this sort of character for Dapper Day as well not going as the tightrope walker but someone dressed in very nice clothing that okay so uh, not quite sure where that left off. I know I was, I'm, I know I was done with my bows and all that, which is the whole goal for this, um, video. However, <laughs> um, my brother had put in another card, SD card, into it. I thought it was this big, giant 256 gig card that we have, but it was in fact only the 4 gig, so it cut me off in the middle of the video. But that was basically it, so... My whole collection started originally with hats. Um, now I'm trying to get as many bows as I can. Again, Hot Topic is awesome for, for Disney merch. Um, they also have the really cute pop figures, too, of all of the, the different ones. I have a group one. It's really cute. It's a bobblehead group. But they have all of those. You can really get a whole lot at Hot Topic right now in the way of Disney for cheap. Um, cheap in comparison to what you would have to buy at Disney for the same sort of items. A shirt at Hot Topic would probably be $20. A shirt at Disney would probably be $40. <laughs> so I'll go the Hot Topic route. Um, has a bunch of really cute tank tops and, and things like that. So I wear a lot of that for running and uh, just everyday wear. But anyway, so yeah, that was it for my hats and bows. But it doesn't look like the same lanyard because she wears it from the Cheshire Cat side. Aww. So you have Cheshire Cat.